Sildenafil, sold as the brand name Viagra among others, is a medication used to treat erectile dysfunction and pulmonary arterial hypertension. Its effectiveness for treating sexual dysfunction in women has not been demonstrated. Common side effects include headaches and heartburn, as well as flushed skin. Caution is advised in those who have cardiovascular disease. Rare but serious side effects include prolonged erections, which can lead to damage to the penis, and sudden onset hearing loss. Sildenafil should not be taken by people who take nitrates such as nitroglycerin, glycerin trinitrate, as this may result in a severe and potentially fatal drop in blood pressure. Sildenafil acts by inhibiting CGMP specific phosphodiesterase type 5, phosphodiesterase 5, PDE5, an enzyme that promotes degradation of CGMP, which regulates blood flow in the penis. Pfizer scientists Andrew Bell, David Brown, and Nicholas Tourette originally discovered sildenafil as a treatment for various cardiovascular disorders. Since becoming available in 1998, sildenafil has been a common treatment for erectile dysfunction. Its primary competitors are Tadalafil trade name Cialis, and Bardenafil Levitra. Medical uses Sexual dysfunction the primary indication of sildenafil is treatment of erectile dysfunction, inability to sustain a satisfactory erection to complete intercourse. Its use is now one of the standard treatments for erectile dysfunction, including for men with diabetes mellitus. Antidepressant-associated sexual dysfunction Tentative evidence suggests that sildenafil may help men who experience antidepressant-induced erectile dysfunction. Pulmonary hypertension While sildenafil improves some markers of disease in people with pulmonary arterial hypertension, it does not appear to affect the risk of death or serious side effects as of 2014. Reno's phenomenon Sildenafil and other PDE5 inhibitors are used off-label to alleviate vasospasm and treat severe ischemia and ulcers in fingers and toes for people with secondary Reno's phenomenon. These drugs have moderate efficacy for reducing the frequency and duration of vasospastic episodes. As of 2016, their role more generally in Reno's was not clear. High altitude pulmonary edema. Sildenafil has been studied for high-altitude pulmonary edema but its use is currently not recommended for that indication. Adverse effects In clinical trials, the most common adverse effects of sildenafil use included headache, flushing, indigestion, nasal congestion, and impaired vision, including photophobia and blurred vision. Some sildenafil users have complained of seeing everything tinted blue cyanopsia. Some complained of blurriness and loss of peripheral vision. In July 2005, the FDA found that sildenafil could lead to vision impairment in rare cases and a number of studies have linked sildenafil use with non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Rare but serious adverse effects found through post-marketing surveillance include prolonged erections, severe low blood pressure, myocardial infarction, heart attack, ventricular arrhythmias, stroke, increased intraocular pressure, and sudden hearing loss. In October 2007, the FDA announced that the labeling for all PDE5 inhibitors, including sildenafil, required a more prominent warning of the potential risk of sudden hearing loss. Interactions Care should be exercised by people who are also taking protease inhibitors for the treatment of HIV infection. Protease inhibitors inhibit the metabolism of sildenafil, effectively multiplying the plasma levels of sildenafil, increasing the incidence and severity of side effects. Those using protease inhibitors are recommended to limit their use of sildenafil to no more than 125 mg dose every 48 hours. Other drugs that interfere with the metabolism of sildenafil include erythromycin and cimetidine, both of which can also lead to prolonged plasma half-life levels. The use of sildenafil and an alpha-1 blocker, typically prescribed for hypertension or for urologic conditions, such as benign prostatic hypertrophy, at the same time may lead to low blood pressure, but this effect does not occur if they are taken at least four hours apart. 
contraindications Contraindications include Concomitant use of nitric oxide donors, organic nitrites and nitrates, such as Nitroglycerin Isosorbide mononitrate Isosorbide dinitrate Sodium nitroprusside Alkyl nitrites, commonly known as poppers Concomitant use of soluble guanylyl cyclase stimulators, such as Rio Ciguat. Known hypersensitivity to seldenafil should not be used if sexual activity is inadvisable due to underlying cardiovascular risk factors. Non-medical use Recreational use Seldenafil S popularity with young adults has increased over the years. Sildenafil's trade name, Viagra, is widely recognized in popular culture, and the drug's association with treating erectile dysfunction has led to its recreational use. The reasons behind such use include the belief that the drug increases libido, improves sexual performance, or permanently increases penis size. Studies on the effects of Viagra when used recreationally are limited, but suggest it has little effect when used by those not suffering from erectile dysfunction. In one study, a 25 mg dose was shown to cause no significant change in erectile quality, but did reduce the post-ejaculatory refractory time. This study also noted a significant placebo effect in the control group. Unprescribed recreational use of sildenafil and other PDE5 inhibitors is noted as particularly high among users of illegal drugs. Sildenafil is sometimes used to counteract the effects of other substances, often illicit. Some users mix it with methylenedioxymethamphetamine MDMA, ecstasy, other stimulants, or opiates in an attempt to compensate for the common side effect of erectile dysfunction, a combination known as sextasy, rockin' and rollin' or trail mix. Mixing with amyl nitrite is particularly dangerous and potentially fatal. Jet lag research the 2007 IG Nobel Prize in Aviation went to Patricia V. Agostino, Santiago A. Plano, and Diego A. Golombic of Universidad Nacional de Quilmes, Argentina, for their discovery that sildenafil helps treat jet lag recovery in hamsters. Sports Professional athletes have been documented using sildenafil, believing the opening of their blood vessels will enrich their muscles. In turn, they believe it will enhance their performances. Analogs Acetaldenafil and other synthetic structural analogs of sildenafil which are PDE5 inhibitors have been found as adulterants in a number of herbal aphrodisiac products sold over the counter. These analogs have not undergone any of the rigorous testing that drugs like sildenafil have passed, and thus have unknown side effect profiles. Some attempts have been made to ban these drugs, but progress has been slow so far, as, even in those jurisdictions that have laws targeting designer drugs, the laws are drafted to ban analogs of illegal drugs of abuse, rather than analogs of prescription medicines. However, at least one court case has resulted in a product being taken off the market. The US FDA has banned numerous products claiming to be Uricoma longifolia that, in fact, contain only analogs of sildenafil. Sellers of such fake herbals typically respond by just changing the names of their products. Detection in biological fluids Sildenafil and or n sildenafil, its major active metabolite, may be quantified in plasma, serum, or whole blood to assess pharmacokinetic status in those receiving the drug therapeutically, to confirm the diagnosis in potential poisoning victims, or to assist in the forensic investigation in a case of fatal overdose. Mechanism of action Sildenafil protects cyclic guanosine monophosphate CGMP, from degradation by CGMP-specific phosphodiesterase type 5 PDE5, in the corpus cavernosum. 
Nitric oxide, NO, in the corpus cavernosum of the penis binds to guanulate cyclase receptors, which results in increased levels of CGMP, leading to smooth muscle relaxation vasodilation, of the intimal cushions of the helicin arteries. This smooth muscle relaxation leads to vasodilation and increased inflow of blood into the spongy tissue of the penis, causing an erection. Robert F. Furchgott, Farad Murad, and Louis Ignaro won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1998 for their independent study of the metabolic pathway of nitric oxide in smooth muscle vasodilation. Sildenafil is a potent and selective inhibitor of CGMP-specific phosphodiesterase type 5 PDE5, which is responsible for degradation of CGMP in the corpus cavernosum. The molecular structure of sildenafil is similar to that of CGMP and acts as a competitive binding agent of PDE5 in the corpus cavernosum, resulting in more CGMP and better erections. Without sexual stimulation, and therefore lack of activation of the no-CGMP system, sildenafil should not cause an erection. Other drugs that operate by the same mechanism include tadalafil, cialis, and bardenafil, levitra. Sildenafil is broken down in the liver by hepatic metabolism using cytochrome P450 enzymes, mainly 450 cypriot pounds 3A4 major root, but also by CYP2C9 minor root hepatic isoenzymes. The major product of metabolization by these enzymes is N-desmethylated sildenafil, which is metabolized further. This metabolite also has an affinity for the PDE receptors, about 40% of that of sildenafil. Thus, the metabolite is responsible for about 20% of sildenafil's action. Sildenafil is excreted as metabolites predominantly in the feces about 80% of administered oral dose and to a lesser extent in the urine around 13% of the administered oral dose. If taken with a high-fat meal, absorption is reduced, the time taken to reach the maximum plasma concentration increases by around one hour, and the maximum concentration itself is decreased by nearly one-third. Root of administration When taken by mouth sildenafil for erectile dysfunction results in an average time to onset of erections of 27 minutes, ranging from 12 to 70 minutes. Under the tongue use of sildenafil for erectile dysfunction results in an average onset of action of 15 minutes and lasting for an average of 40 minutes. There are also mouth spray preparations of sildenafil for faster onset of action. Chemical synthesis The preparation steps for synthesis of sildenafil are Methylation of 3-PROPYLPYRAZOLE-5-carboxylic acid ethyl ester with hot dimethyl sulfate Hydrolysis with aqueous sodium hydroxide NaOH, to free acid Nitration with oleum, fuming nitric acid Carboxamide formation with refluxing thionyl chloride, NH4OH Reduction of nitro group to amino group Acylation with 2-ethoxybenzoyl chloride Cyclization Sulfonation to the chlorosulfonyl derivative Condensation with 1-methylpipyrazine History Sildenafil compound UK was synthesized by a group of pharmaceutical chemists working at Pfizer Sandwich, Kent, research facility in England. It was initially studied for use in hypertension, high blood pressure, and angina pectoris, a symptom of ischemic heart disease. The first clinical trials were conducted in Marston Hospital in Swansea. Phase 1 clinical trials under the direction of Ian Osterloh suggested the drug had little effect on angina, but it could induce marked penile erections. Pfizer therefore decided to market it for erectile dysfunction, rather than for angina. This decision became an often cited example of drug repositioning. The drug was patented in 1996, approved for use in erectile dysfunction by the FDA on 27 March 1998, becoming the first oral treatment approved to treat erectile dysfunction in the United States, and offered for sale in the United States later that year. 
It soon became a great success. Annual sales of Viagra peaked in 2008 at $1.934 billion. The British press portrayed Peter Dunn and Albert Wood as the inventors of the drug, but only Andrew Bell, David Brown, and Nicholas Tourette are listed on the original composition of matter patent. Society and culture Marketing and sales in the U.S. even though sildenafil is available only by prescription from a doctor, it was advertised directly to consumers on TV, famously being endorsed by former United States Senator Bob Dole and football star Pele. Numerous sites on the internet offer Viagra for sale after an online consultation, often a simple web questionnaire. The Viagra name has become so well known, many fake aphrodisiacs now call themselves herbal Viagra or are presented as blue tablets imitating the shape and color of Pfizer's product. Viagra is also informally known as vitamin B, the blue pill, or blue diamond, as well as various other nicknames. In 2000, Viagra sales accounted for 92% of the global market for prescribed erectile dysfunction pills. By 2007, Viagra's global share had plunged to about 50% due to several factors, including the entry of Cialis and Levitra, along with several counterfeits and clones, and reports of vision loss in people taking PDE5 inhibitors. In February 2007, it was announced that Boots, the UK pharmacy chain, would try over the counter sales of Viagra in stores in Manchester, England. Men between the ages of 30 and 65 would be eligible to buy four tablets after a consultation with a pharmacist. In 2017, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency enacted legislation that expanded this nationwide, allowing a particular branded formulation of Soldenafil, Viagra Connect, 50 mg, to be sold over the counter and without a prescription throughout the UK from early 2018. While the sale remains subject to a consultation with a pharmacist, the other restrictions from the trial have been removed, allowing customers over the age of 18 to purchase an unlimited number of pills the decision was made, in part, to reduce online sales of counterfeit and potentially dangerous erectile dysfunction treatments. On 6 May 2013, Pfizer, which manufactures Viagra, told the Associated Press they will begin selling the drug directly to patients on its website. Pfizer's patents on Viagra expired outside the U.S. in 2012. In the U.S. they were set to expire, but Pfizer settled litigation with each of Mylan and Teva which agreed that both companies could introduce generics in the U.S. on of December 2017. In December 2017, Pfizer released its own generic version of Viagra. As of 2018, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved 15 drug manufacturers to market generic sildenafil in the United States. Seven of these companies are based in India. This is likely to lead to dramatic price reductions. Counterfeits Counterfeit Viagra, despite generally being cheaper, can contain harmful substances or substances that affect how Viagra works, such as blue printer ink, amphetamines, metronidazole, boric acid, and rat poison. Viagra is one of the world's most counterfeited medicines. According to a Pfizer study, around 80% of sites claiming to sell Viagra were selling counterfeits. Regional issues European Union Pfizer's patent on sildenafil citrate expired in some member countries of the EU, Austria, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, the United Kingdom and Switzerland on 21 June 2013. A UK patent held by Pfizer on the use of PDE5 inhibitors see below, as treatment of impotence was invalidated in 2000 because of obviousness, this decision was upheld on appeal in 2002. United Kingdom There were 2,958,199 prescriptions for sildenafil in 2016 in England, compared with 1,042,431 in 2006. In 2018, Viagra Connect, a particular formulation of sildenafil marketed by Pfizer, became available for sale without a prescription in the UK, in an attempt to widen availability and reduce demand for counterfeit products. United States Sildenafil is available as a generic drug in the United States, labeled for pulmonary arterial hypertension. 
As of 2016, branded pills cost about 50 times more than generic ones. In the United States as of 2015 the branded 50 mg pill cost is between 25.17 and 37 United States dollars and 88 cents. In the United States, Pfizer received two patents for sildenafil, one for its indication to treat cardiovascular disease, marketed as Rivadio, and another for its indication to treat erectile dysfunction, marketed as Viagra. The substance is the same under both trade names. In 1992, Pfizer filed a patent covering the substance sildenafil and its use to treat cardiovascular diseases. This would be marketed as Rivadio. The patent was published in 1993 and expired in 2012. The patent on Rivadio, indicated for pulmonary arterial hypertension rather than erectile dysfunction, expired in late 2012. Generic versions of this low-dose form of sildenafil have been available in the U.S. from a number of manufacturers, including Greenstone, Mylan, and Watson, since early 2013. Health care providers may prescribe generic sildenafil for erectile dysfunction. However, the generic is not available in the same dosages as branded Viagra, so using dosages typically required for treating ED requires patients to take multiple pills. In 1994, Pfizer filed a patent covering the use of sildenafil to treat erectile dysfunction. This would be marketed as Viagra. This patent was published in 2002 and will expire in 2019. Teva sued to have the latter patent invalidated, but Pfizer prevailed in an August 2011 federal district court case. An agreement with Pfizer allowed Teva to begin to provide the generic drug in December 2017. Canada In Canada, Pfizer S. Patent 2,324,324 for Rivadio, sildenafil used to treat pulmonary hypertension, was found invalid by the federal court in June 2010, on an application by Ratio Farm Inc. on 8 November 2012. The Supreme Court of Canada ruled that Pfizer S. Patent 2,163,446 on Viagra was invalid from the beginning because the company did not provide full disclosure in its application. The decision, Teva Canada Limited. D. Pfizer Canada Inc. pointed to Section 27 3, B. of the Patent Act which requires that disclosure must include sufficient information to enable any person skilled in the art or science to which it pertains to produce it. It added further. As a matter of policy and sound statutory interpretation, patentees cannot be allowed to game the system in this way. This, in my view, is the key issue in this appeal. Teva Canada launched Novo Sildenafil, a generic version of Viagra, on the day the Supreme Court of Canada released its decision. To remain competitive, Pfizer then reduced the price of Viagra in Canada. However, on 9 November 2012, Pfizer filed a motion for a re-hearing of the appeal in the Supreme Court of Canada, on the grounds that the court accidentally exceeded its jurisdiction by voiding the patent. Finally, on the 22nd of April 2013, the Supreme Court of Canada invalidated Pfizer's patent altogether. India Manufacture and sale of sildenafil citrate drugs known as generic Viagra is common in India, where Pfizer's patent claim does not apply. Trade names include Camagra, Ajanta Pharma, Salagra, Sipla, Adegra, Sun Pharmaceutical, Panagra, Zytus Cadilla, Manly, Cooper Pharma, and Zenegra, Alchem Laboratories. China Manufacture and sale of sildenafil citrate drugs is common in China, where Pfizer's patent claim is not widely enforced. New Zealand Sildenafil was reclassified in New Zealand in 2014 so it could be bought over the counter from a pharmacist. It is thought that this reduced sales over the internet and was safer as men could be referred for medical advice if appropriate. Other countries Egypt approved Viagra for sale in 2002, but soon afterwards allowed local companies to produce generic versions of the drug, citing the interests of poor people who would not be able to afford Pfizer. S. Price Pfizer. S. Patent on sildenafil citrate expired in Brazil in 2010. References. External links. Official Viagra website. 
Official Rivadio website Prescribing information for Viagra and prescribing information for Rivadio from Pfizer FDA information Medline Plus information, including side effects U.S. National Library of Medicine, Drug Information Portal, Soldenafil Viagra at the Periodic Table of Videos, University of Nottingham